Hello everyone, my name is Tomasz and this is your weekly portion of carefully selected photography news. If you are enjoying this new frames news feature, I would really appreciate it a lot if you could click on this tiny like button below. It would help us with spreading the word about this new segment. Let's dive straight into this week's most interesting photography stories. Traveling to space from your backyard. According to Blind, the Rocket Girl Chronicles by Andrew Rovenko is a heartwarming personal project that follows the adventures of one little astronaut. As the photographer's daughter keeps exploring the neighborhood, the child's curiosity and imagination is able to transform even the most mundane of surroundings into otherworldly and often haunting scenes. It really was the strangest time of our lives, says Rovenko. A time of no human contact with empty streets, closed playgrounds and long days that blended together. Time of keeping distance as individuals unexpectedly unified by a shared experiences across continents, countries, cultures. All under the same sky. In the beginning, the novelty of the changed world was almost thrilling. Nothing like this has ever happened before. I will always remember our first neighborhood walks under the newly announced restrictions. The Rocket Girl Chronicles by Andrew Rovenko is currently available for purchase as an upcoming book on Kickstarter. For more information on Andrew Rovenko, please visit the author's website or Instagram account. You will find all the necessary links below. Pentax announces the world's only DSLR designed exclusively for black and white photography. According to Imaging Resource, Rico Imaging has announced the Pentax K3 Mark III Monochrome. The new DSLR combines many of the features of the company's flagship APS-C DSLR, the K3 III, with a newly developed monochromatic image sensor, making it the world's only DSLR designed for black and white imagery. The concept of a monochrome-specific digital SLR camera attracted a great deal of attention and interest from photographers who participated in an online fan event held in November 2021, says Ken Curry, president of Rico Imaging Americas. Curry continues, Pentax has since conducted extensive research of the development of a commercial product based on this concept and we are excited to announce it today. New Sydney exhibition celebrates historic staged photos. According to australianphotography.com, an exhibition celebrating the quirky mid-90s and early 20th century era of staged photographs opens in Sydney next week. The staged photograph, running at the Chow Chak Wing Museum, will transport viewers to a time when costumes had to be captured in a studio and when fictional photographs, posing models in a story or comic scene, were sold and bought for home entertainment. Exhibition curator Jan Brazier said the unique popularity of this early photography remains unfamiliar to many people. The images are diverse and intriguing insight into the role staged photographs played in our lives and the popular culture of the time. Video is a photo gear Airbnb for renting from other photographers. According to Petapixel, Video is a Europe-based platform that lets photographers and filmmakers rent equipment from other creators, effectively creating the Airbnb of photo equipment. The company says that it is looking to completely reshape the landscape of the creator economy by making it easier for filmmakers and photographers to obtain high-quality filming equipment. Video, which is based in Denmark and has been in operation since 2018, bills itself as the fastest-growing European equipment rental community for filmmakers and photographers and gives visual creators the ability to list and rent out their equipment to other shooters when they are not actively using it. Video says that this method of peer-to-peer -peer renting is up to 40% more affordable 
than traditional methods. Photographing the otherworldly beauty of Japanese hot springs. According to ID, Yusuke Yamatani has spent 15 years crisscrossing the country's wild hot springs. His new book will leave you lightheaded. The Japanese photographer Yusuke Yamatani has a track record of making knockout books. His first, Sugi no Yoru, from 2013, a rip-roaring record of Osaka's skate life and punk scene sold out of the bat. Then there was Rama Lama Ding Dong in 2015, a laugh-struck chronicle of his honeymoon voyage across Japan. Indoors from 2020, he went completely nuts and snapped the hell out of his drumming performance tour around Europe. His latest, the debut publication of hip Tokyo store Flotsam Books, is Yusuke's dreamiest to date, an ode to Japanese hot springs, Onsen. His subsequent trippy book, which goes by the name of Onsen One, the sounds which waft through it, the gentle strums of a koto that echo like the surface of water of warbling one-note drones that resemble a ditch redo are entrancing, but so are the photographs. Amidst the trees, burbling streams and cracked Martian dunes are the naked bodies of Yusuke's friends. Sometimes I go alone though, he says. It was a uh, natural for me to photograph. I found total freedom. New Fujifilm 400 color negative film probably replaces Superior Extra 400. According to Petapixel, Fujifilm is poised to release a new 400 color negative film soon to presumably replace the Superior Extra 400 film that now shows as discontinued or out of stock at US retailers. While Fujifilm hasn't updated its website, Cosmo Photo reports that B&H Photo has listed a new 400 color negative film that is set to arrive soon, though an exact release time was not revealed. Moment also has it listed on its website, but it is out of stock. Fujifilm 400 color negative is described as a high-speed, daylight-balanced 35mm color negative film with a wide exposure latitude and fine grain structure with consistent and accurate colors. The film is ISO 400 and is developed in the C41 process. How many photographers does it take to change a light bulb? None. When it gets dark, we just use a higher ISO. Did you know that Gustave Le Grey, French seascape and landscape photographer, is credited with inventing the first photography tripod. His design was made of wood and featured collapsible legs that could be adjusted to different heights and angles, allowing photographers to capture a variety of shots. This was a significant improvement over earlier methods of stabilizing cameras, which often involved propping them up on chairs or using sandbags. Le Grey's tripod design became the standard for tripods and it is still used today with modifications and improvements made over time. His contributions to the field of photography were recognized during his lifetime and he was awarded the prestigious Legion of Honor in 1857. Today he is remembered as one of the pioneers of photography and a true innovator in his field. As usual, let's close our Frames News segment with a great image. Today I would like to say goodbye with a photograph called Tangerine Door by Douglas Hill. Have a wonderful weekend, everyone.